Shalom brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Today I want to share the confirmations about rapture that I received last week. There are three confirmations in two days. Brothers and sisters in Christ, for me seeing the wedding symbolized the rapture. In real, I never thought anything about the wedding and no one in my life or my family will have the wedding party in recent time. So I'm sure all I share on my video about unusual coincidence that happened to me or why I keep seeing things about wedding is not coming from my mind or my thoughts. So here are the confirmations. On February 28, 2021, Sunday, at night, I opened a YouTube channel. There are many YouTube videos appeared on the screen. And then I accidentally saw a picture of a bride and a groom on a YouTube video that appeared on my screen. The view is like this. This is the real view I saw. I didn't watch the video, just look at the picture. In my heart, I said, maybe God sent me the message again, but I didn't really sure or pay attention to it. And then on the next day, on March the 1st, 2021, about 10 a.m. in the morning, I was doing cleaning and sweeping the floor at my house. When I was going to clean the living room, I walked past the television screen, and at that time, my aunt was watching a Chinese drama on TV. While walking past the television screen, I accidentally looked at the screen, and I was surprised. I saw the view of the bride and the groom. The view is like this, but this is not the real view. I took it from Google. The view is very short, only about 2 or 3 seconds, and then disappears and changes to other view that is not about wedding. In my heart, I wonder how could I accidentally, in two or three seconds, walk past the TV screen and why I must see the TV screen and I can look, because I can look at the other direction. Brothers and sisters in Christ, I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. This kind of coincidence cannot be made by man. Only God can put me there on the right place and at the right time so that I can get the message. So every time I got this kind of message, I was so amazed by how God showed things to me. And not stop there. At the same day in the afternoon at about 1.42 p.m., I looked at my phone to see the notifications. And when I saw the notifications from Instagram, it is the same account that posts about the wedding ring that I have shared two weeks ago. I said in my heart, this is the account that posts about the wedding ring, and then I scroll down the picture to see what picture they posted now. And this is the real view I saw, brothers and sisters. It is the wedding ring again. So all of these confirmations looks like the same and repeated with what I have received two weeks ago. I checked the Instagram and found out that the picture was posted three days before. So it's a weird thing that the notification just appeared on my phone three days after it, it was posted. That's all the confirmations I got about the rapture. rapture. Brothers and sisters, we live in the last days. Jesus is coming very soon. I keep receiving the messages about the wedding, so I feel like God keep telling us that the rapture is imminent. Let us prepare and be ready. Ask the Holy Spirit to lead us every day to live in holiness and righteousness according to the word of God. Also, I want to share the word that I heard in the Spirit this week. I keep hearing these two words, the temple of God or the synagogue of Satan, so I feel like God wants me to share about this. Brothers and sisters in Christ, the temple of God and the synagogue of Satan, both talking about the church as a congregation or building and as the individual. Each of us as believers is called the temple of God if the Holy Spirit dwells in us. But most Christians nowadays compromise with sins and make their body not become the temple of God anymore, but the synagogue of Satan. They embrace the way of the world and the spirit of Antichrist. It is very obvious now, brothers and sisters, as we are approaching the coming of Jesus, people cannot distinguish anymore what is good and what is evil. Evil is called good and good is called evil. 
We will see people compromising sins, called sins like abortion, LGBTQ, and other antichrist spirits are okay, and they added to their sins by slandering, demonizing people that stand for the truth, preach about holiness and repentance, and obeying the commandments, make them look like bad, and persecute them. And what is said, it is even come from the people who call themselves Christians. Brothers and sisters in Christ, allow me to warn us if we see all these kinds of teaching on YouTube or at the church that say we must embrace our tolerance to abortion, LGBTQ, or sins, stay away or run from them. Get out of that church or that sick community of people is better than we face the judgments of God. They are not the temple of God anymore, but obviously the synagogue of Satan. The Antichrist spirit cannot survive if we do not embrace them. They can be accepted and move freely at the church because we, as Christians, have tolerance too much. Very few people want to speak against it because we, as Christians, are too kind and we don't want to offend people, but actually we offend God. We fear men and we do not fear God. Brothers and sisters in Christ, we must also pray against these Antichrist spirits and that God will raise up the true men and women of God that have the courage to speak against this and stand for the truth. That's all I like to share, brothers and sisters. Hope this could encourage us and give us more discernment to know the, sep the deception in these last days. If you have any comments about this message, you can share it in the comment section below. And if you need prayer, you can send email to me. May Jesus, our Lord and Savior, bless us all. Love you all, brothers and sisters, and thank you for listening. Bye.